Okay, grade eights, we're now going to be doing geometry of 3D shapes. Now, this might look like completely complicated, and you know what? You don't always have to remember these things, but we're just going to get into what they all mean and give a little background of 3D shapes, or an introduction rather. And then we're going to move on to vertices, faces, and edges, and then nets. Let's get into this straight away. We're going to first look at a tetrahedron, a hexahedron. This is also known as a cube. We're going to look at an octahedron, we're going to look at a dodecahedron. Don't get too stressed out if you can't say these words, I can barely say them myself sometimes, it's not too important. An isohedron, or isohedrons, and then we're going to look at what they all mean. So, a tetrahedron has four faces. Now I'm going to show you this little animation here, it's very important when you're dealing with something that you haven't made yourself, to reference where you get it from. So this is from Wikipedia. If you want to go and have a look at this yourself, you can type that into your browser and go and have a look at this diagram. So tetrahedron has four faces. Can you see the four faces here? What about a hexagon, uh, a hexahedron, also known as a cube? That has six faces. This is like your dice. This is probably the easiest one to visualize. Let's look at an octahedron. This is eight faces. Oct is eight. And this creates a triangular, almost diamond looking shape. Can you visualize those eight faces? Four on each side or four on each half? Dodecadron. This is 12 faces. This starts getting a little bit more complicated to try and visualize. But here we have essentially pentagons, which has five sides on each of the surfaces of the shape. And then an isohedron. And this is 20 faces. And Again, don't stress if you can't remember the names, if you don't know how to draw them, you'll never be asked to draw one of these, but try to get a visual understanding of how they look. We're going to talk now about the important things about these. Like I said, we have our shapes. I put them up here. We have our tetrahedron. We have our hexadron, hexahedron, and that's our cube. We have our octahedron. We have our dodecadron. And then we have an isohedron. Right, these are our shapes. The most important thing here is that they each have equal sides. If you look at the surface area of these sides, you will see that each one of them is the same. Each of these eight surfaces are identical size and shape. And that goes for all these shapes. And this is what makes these really useful or common 3D shapes. Right, so we have a tetrahedron. That's known as a triangular pyramid. And then we have a square pyramid, right? So a square pyramid might be one like the pyramids of Giza you see from Egypt. These are probably the most famous pyramids you've ever seen. A tetrahedron just simply has a triangular base, as you can see at the top here, where a square pyramid has a square base. So then we have a perfect sphere. This is obviously like your soccer ball, right? It's not a soccer ball that has pentagon sides like a dodecagon but this is more just a perfect sphere, like a pool ball, like a pool table. Um, then we have a cylinder, that's like your Coke can. Then we have something called a torus. Now, a torus is a mathematically interesting shape. We're not going to deal with it now, um, but this is a common 3D shape that people use. You might have seen a torus, uh, maybe a little washer, it might look like a little rubber washer, or that could be a torus. Um, it's used a lot in electronics. If you open up an electric engine, you might see a lot of toruses or a little electric motor. And then we have a cone, which is simply to, simple to remember because it's an upside down ice cream cone or it could be a normal way ice cream cone with your ice cream in there. Or a cone is like a clown's hat. So just remember these names, that's all that's really important to know. Know the name of a torus, the difference between a square and triangular pyramid, what a cylinder, cone and sphere are. Well then, great, we're now going to get into a lot more practical part of 3D shapes where we're going to look at what is a vertice, what is a face, what is an edge. Before we get into a really fun section, we can actually start building your own 3D shapes with nets.